It's time for episode four of the PLG Teardown, where we disassemble popular products with a focus on product-led growth. Together with Laura Cruikshanks, Pendo's lead product designer, and our special guest today, Michelle Grapinski, on Pendo's product-led growth team, we'll look at what works and what could be better all through the lens of our six PLG principles. Today, we're going to see just how well Canva leverages its new free AI tools to drive product-led growth. Let's get started. So here we are, uh, and it says, that we can sign up for free. So that basically checks off our first principle and we are going to go ahead and continue with email where we'll use our PLG account. This welcome is goals, goals, goals. Um, it's pretty, the tiles feel like very clickable. This is so much warmer than a drop down. Um, and I feel like Canva is made for me by seeing something for myself here and also getting some inspo on things I might have not even known Canva can do. So let's take a look at what happens when we actually go into one of these. We'll, we'll say we're a small business. Okay, um, right away, I'm seeing that we're hitting virality. So one of our principles, it looks like we can go ahead and get an invite link or add other teammates. Skip, skip, and then here I am. <laughs> so it looks like they're actually throwing up great options or maybe a free, a full experience for free in my face very early on. We love the first step. Inviting a team member right away is a great virality motion. It makes Canva a team sport right from the get-go. That gets a point from me, but then they lose a point <laughs> by pushing a trial as soon as I got in. I said I just want to start for free, and this is just asking a lot of me. I just got here. Yeah, I thought I was in the free trial. Is this signing me up for something? And then even worse, they've got the maybe later button in the corner where you don't normally see that. It's usually underneath like maybe later. But really, I, I think the language here is very confusing. And then I think they're being sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. It's not great. <laughs> okay, well, let's walk through it and continue on. Maybe later. Oh, look at that. Confetti. Oh my gosh, we forgive them for the trial upsell. <laughs> We're suckers it's for those okay types now. of things. <laughs> and look oh, at the sparkle. More sparkle. Oh. I think they planned that. They knew they were shooting their shot with a trial upsell and they're recovering with confetti and sparkle. All right, so we're here and we want to design, but I really, I was really excited to try their AI tools. Um, and looking here, I can't find it. Has anybody been able to find it easily? I also feel like there's a lot. There's a lot here. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go to maybe later. Um, let's go for the the sparkles. I think the sparkles will tell us where to go. <laughs> Just follow the sparkles. Follow the sparkles. Okay, oh, yeah. here it is. Magic design and magic right. Okay, so let's take a look and see what that does for us. Cute, cute. Yeah. Try it out. Generate a presentation instantly with magic design. Okay, this is pretty neat. So let's try it out. <gasps> Ooh. Words. All right, creating a presentation for us. I love the quote. That's another little moment of magic. I really love that this is free. Like you you'd think, think that something like this would cost you money to try out and work on. Um, but this is completely free, maybe because it's in beta, but I hope they let it stay free forever. I don't love that we don't know if this is free forever, if we have a limited amount to use, like expectation setting. I'm just a little suspect right now to get too attached. I do agree with oh. that. But as you're talking, I am yeah. wowed. I might have hit an aha moment. Take a look at the content on the right here. Oh my gosh, look it's at, accurate. Look at, look at the <laughs> Magic design. What? My, My magical, magical experience. Yeah. <laughs> this is this aha is energy. I work on tons of presentations all the time, and this would save me so much time. Just getting started, just getting the placement. And I wonder if I have to, if I could get my company's brand assets in there, would they keep it on brand? And then if so, it's just going to make my life so much easier. I think what Canva did here too is they made it really easy to get from zero to one. Like we typed in five words and we have what a nine, nine slide deck. 
I can get used to that return on investment. Michelle, you, you're, you've you used this quite a bit. So what do you think about usability here? I've got to say, I love Canva so much, but I feel like they're not putting their best foot forward. There's a lot of choice going on. And I know that they're trying to impress us with everything they can do, but it's too much too soon. So instead of impressing, I think they're overwhelming. This is my first time using Canva and I do admit there's a lot of controls everywhere is a little overwhelming. When I started to dig in, um, I started to get the hang of it. It was pretty familiar, familiar controls like, you know, filling in, you can see the copy, the delete, you see extra, um, you know, menu items. Like that was really easy. Go into text. I think you can like, if you don't select one, I think you can change everything everywhere. <laughs> Yay, my name is Sparkles. This is a dream. I myself can see how free users get hooked on this, right? Um, Michelle, what do you think about this principle here, delighting our users so that products can become a habit? Oh, consider me delighted. I feel like I was already married to Canva because I love it so much for my side hustle. And we went on a first date again, and it took me a little longer <laughs> for the sparks to fly this round, just because of what we've all said, a lot of choice happening. Um, I get why they want to impress right off the bat, but I can't say it enough. It's too much too soon in a lot of these landings within the product. I think they could have done a better job to just keep it simple. All right, cool. Well, naturally, if I'm feeling happy about this and I'm nervous that it's going to be taken away, I'm going to look for a way to upgrade and to pay for this thing so that I don't lose access and I don't lose what I've created and I want to pay. So my eyes go right here, right? And it looks like I have the option to do something, but um, learn more, try it for free for 30 days. If I click this learn more, um, okay, that's interesting. I went from resizing... <laughs> Michelle, I need your help on this one, just from yeah. your perspective. They lose me here. Crown's got a little kooky. Like you said, Christine, you clicked a crown next to the word resize. I'm expecting this content to be framed through the lens of resize. And it's actually the same content we saw all the way back when we first started. We've moved on, Canva. <laughs> like, keep up. We're on our way to upgrade. You need to stay with me. And this just is not contextual enough for me. Although, did you notice that all of those are your cover screen, but oh. resized in different ways? No way! <laughs> oh my gosh! gosh. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Look how happy Michelle is now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, I'm happy, but I'm almost more mad because that's so contextual, but it's so yeah. contextual in the wrong place. <laughs> wow. Oh the explanation as to what I'm going to get if I were to try it for free is hidden. It's, it's in your face and hidden. So it's kind of weird to me, this whole layout. That is a oh. kooky crown. Mm -hmm. But really cool too. <laughs> <laughs> it's like magic. <gasps> well, let's just say um, that we have, you know, created our, our presentation and we're ready to go ahead and share this out. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They have recovered in their upsell path. This is pretty perfect. It's an upsell exactly in my workflow and it's an upsell with choice. Mm -hmm. I can either keep those watermarks, not upsell. I can remove the watermarks once or I can remove them forever with a plan. This is a really cool upsell opportunity. Okay, well, let's move on to virality, right? Naturally, I'm going to want to share this and get it out to people to, to see and possibly even help me collaborate. Laura, for example, you would love to share this deck with designers at Pendo. So talk to us oh, yeah. about what you feel and how you feel they're handling this. They make it really easy to share. Um, there's lots of ways to share a presentation. You can present and record yourself doing it. Um, yeah. And then you can just get a link. They make it really seamless for you to get your work out, uh, regardless of whether you want to pay or not. This is fabulous. I totally agree, Laura. Canva earns virality points from me all over the place. Uh, working in product-led growth, I'm actually a little jealous of all their virality motions. 
Like you said, Christine, right from the get-go, they make Canva a team sport with the invite, and they do it again here right in my workflow, which is just amazing. All right. Well, we're at our lightning round, and we're going to wrap up uh, with a final take. So we're going to do a high and a low. So Michelle, give me your take, one high and one low. High for me, virality, they slay. Low for me, the kooky crowns. We need some contextual upsells. I hear you. All right, Laura, what about you? The high is the magic aha moment. All the magic moments were amazing. They did that so well. Low for me would be just how it's overwhelming up front. I didn't really like that. It feels a little tacky. Okay, that's a wrap for this episode. Visit the Product Led Hub for more PLG best practices, videos, and our certification courses. See you next time. And Michelle, please leave us with some sparkles. Bye. Oh. <laughs>